Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button. And it's not going to cost you anything. It's free. Free. Zero dollar. All it is is your finger on the thing. Hey, boys and girls. It's the fire truck story time. This was the one of the craziest, spontaneous, nonsense things I did. Started being, it's like about May of 2018. And I'm pretty much bored sitting in my office watching a YouTube. And I saw this one guy has a fire truck. He made it, he cut the back of it and made it a toy hauler for his Ferrari. At that time I had a Ferrari in order, so I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. So I jump online and in a matter of two hours, I find the fire truck back in Wisconsin. And this was, this was, this fire truck was sold to me with the idea that the fire truck was in 9-11. It has a 9-11 plaque. And this one guy, Tom, uh, was selling it. So I called him up and we talked about 15, 20 minutes. And I said, Tom, do me a favor, send me the wire info on the on your bank, I wanted a fire truck. So he emailed it to me and right away I sent him the money. And he called me up, he thought, he said, I never thought this is gonna be serious because you're an Iranian, wanna buy a fire truck, what the hell is going on here? And I, it took me about a month and a half to transport it to Vista where I where my business is. So I find the transporter, I brought the fire truck, cost me, the fire truck itself cost me 20. Then transporting was co cost me, I find the deal was about 5,000. I brought it in to Vista. Unloading it, it cost $1,000 because it needs a special uh, towing truck to uh, unload the fire truck. So. Anyway, so we are in 26K. What the hell are we gonna do with the fire truck? I have no idea. Which I knew I'm gonna do this uh, toy hauling thing. So after I got the fire truck, I called around and see if I, how I can do it. And I find that this is gonna be really costly. I said, okay, then, then don't worry about it. We'll just keep it here, we'll see what happens. So now at that time, I had one of my customer uh, recommended me that uh, if uh, I want to wrap that in pink for cancer, uh, uh, there's a cancer run every year in San Diego uh, for the cancer run. Oh, okay, no problem. So uh, we wrapped it in pink. We wrapped it in pink and uh, first trip was I had to take the fire truck 4 a.m. Uh, down to cancer uh, breast cancer office in San Diego because CBS was gonna come and film it so I took it down there they filmed the fire truck I thought I'm a smart ass I put my logo on there but this media companies are so smarter than anyone else they covered my logo they didn't let me to promote my business which was pointless for me to do this thing but i said okay no problem i'll do it my wife wanted to do it i said sure let's do it then uh the second thing was the fox new uh san diego i took it down there and we did another this thing for the 6 a.m. news, something like that. After that, when we were coming back from 
uh, Fox on Highway 15 North by Via Rancho Parkway, I blew up a tire. Yes, a tire. So I had to call in for towing and they came and uh, towed it to the nearest tire shop for the fire truck, for the big trucks. I was lucky that I had a Haggerty insurance and the towing is for free. But the towing for the insurance company cost about $560. Insurance on that thing was cheap, like $300 a year. So we went there and after I dropped it for changing one tire, the guy looked at it and said, well, these are all like 19 years old, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, I'll let you know. Well, let's just do two of them. Then we'll let you know if what we want to do with the rest of them. But he said, it's okay. You can drive it. So, okay. Then I came home at that night and I had a nightmare that the tire blew and I killed somebody. So in, in the morning I woke up, I called the guy, I said, dude, just change all of them. Cost of the tires was 3600 for six tires, basically. Uh, I'm pretty used to pay this type of money for a tire, so I, it wasn't a, that big of a shocking thing. So we took the tire, changed the tire, and parked the car, uh, fire truck at work. And then the COVID time came in, and the COVID time came in, I needed to change my warehouse because I had a big warehouse I didn't need it business was slow so I had to find to do what what am I going to do with this fire truck then I find this place called kids for something uh, car for kids yeah car for kids so I called them up they came and picked it up to they come in they take it and they auction it and uh, proceed goes to this funding uh, foundation and I get a letter for $500 tax deduction. I said, oh shit. I really didn't care more or less about that. But anyway, that was the fire truck is gone now. So after it's gone, it goes about a year goes by and I get a call from Barstow Police Department. They said, well, is this Mr. Parisi? I said, yes. Yeah, what are you doing with your fire truck in the middle of the desert? I said, fire truck in the middle of the desert? I said, no, my fire truck, I sold it. So this policeman sent me a picture which was in the middle of the desert. And uh, he said, well, it's legal, it's yours. You want to come and pick it up? I said, dude, no. I gave it away, I donated it, it's not mine, I don't want it. And he said, no, you need to call the people to make it, uh, to to change the name, otherwise we, you're gonna get calls from us. So anyway, I called the kids for whatever, and they took care of it, all of this thing. But that was another stupid, spontaneous thing by Dawood, but the, whole story is, you know what, I I really enjoyed those things with I did with the fire truck, to be honest. It was pretty costly, but hey, life goes on, and I'm not going to take anything with me anywhere. So uh, I wasted some more money there. I wish I didn't, but things happen. Anyway, have a good night.